are you going to make 2023 your year or is it going to be 2025 or 2027? Because I don't think you have the time for that. This new moon in Capricorn is trying to show you exactly where you need to allocate your time. Ruled by the planet Saturn, Capricorn is a sign that is so embedded with the concept of efficiency. We've been feeling this energy with Mercury and Venus entering Capricorn about a week or two ago. And with this new moon in Capricorn, we're actually opening up into Capricorn season, where Sag season is giving you a liberating sight on what you need to do in your life. Capricorn season is the time to capitalize off of that energy. If you haven't started that business, if you haven't started making things towards your goals, this new moon in Capricorn is the perfect time to manifest your dreams, as long as you're willing to put in the concrete work that goes along with it. This new moon in Capricorn is going to feel like a personal development party. To be honest, this new moon in Capricorn reminds me of an intervention. Like all of your friends coming together to tell you you need to get your shit together. Uh, hey man, uh, I know that you uh, were working on the project, but it was like due two days ago. So like, could you could you do your part? Oh man, I uh, totally forgot about it, man. Oh man, I, for oh, I forgot. <laughs> the new moon in Capricorn does not have time for that. What stability do you want to bring into your life? Truthfully, this Capricorn season is so important because throughout 2023 we're going to be experiencing mercury retrogrades in each earth sign starting off with mercury retrograde in capricorn all of next year is about the revision of how you approach your career how you make money and what specific tangible things you want to bring into your life you can't keep waiting on a miracle with this energy you have to embody the miracle as the last new moon of 2023 the new moon in capricorn is a perfect time to take stock on how far you've come in your personal development go look through your camera roll right now where were you when this year started off and where have you ended up developing yourself to i saw someone mention on twitter the other day that the first half of 2023 felt like a whole different person to the second half of 2023. And that feeling of development has everything to do with Jupiter's transit. Jupiter goes into Aries on the winter solstice, which is honestly mad dope. A couple years back, we had the great conjunction where Jupiter and Saturn met, which was a crowning of authority in the things that you love initially now jupiter is shifting into the first zodiac sign on one of the most monumental days of magic in history on the winter solstice winter begins a time frame of release and letting go of what no longer serves i grew up on the east coast and when it was winter time it would snow everything would be cold it was dumb depressing. No one wanted to do anything. One of the most important things about wintertime, it brings a genuine side of people out that you normally don't see when everything's sunny and everything's good. People have a different grasp of themselves after the winter solstice occurs, making them get in tune with their core nature. Now with Jupiter heading into Aries on the winter solstice, you have to imagine that the biggest planet in our solar system that literally blocks asteroids from flinging to Earth on a daily basis is restarting itself at the beginning of the wheel. This is a major full card energy in the tarot. The fool represents leaving everything behind in order to find and develop a new and fulfilling lifestyle. You can't be scared of anything during Jupiter and Aries like that. I know so so many people who want to push out content and really bring their mind to the table, but they may feel limited or blocked because they don't have that personal confidence to just say the damn thing. Truth be told, it was Jupiter going into Aries that led me back into the astrology fray to begin with. I took some time off prior that I wasn't necessarily expecting. There were a lot of pressures going on and things I had to unlearn. But I shit you not, the moment Jupiter went into Aries the first time, my body sent myself into, no, this is what I do. This is what I love. And I think this is happening again for a lot of people. So what you set out for for the latter half of 2022 is going to honestly become your personality in 2023. And Jupiter wants you to launch yourself into this spiritual experience. The reason Jupiter and Aries are so important on this new moon in Capricorn, though, is because they're going to be directly square at one degree. One degree is an Aries degree, which represents embodiment of whatever the planet and sign it's in. But most specifically, there may be some tension between what you just want to do and what you 
ought to do. Jupiter in Aries just literally wants to do whatever it wants, but the new moon in Capricorn is saying no advance forward in what you know you need to do. So there's a tension of, am I good enough to make this happen? Am I smart enough to make this abundant money? Do I trust myself to go after my dreams? Nah, maybe, maybe I'll just let society win, you know? Get your ass up. We not playing coy no more. If you have greatness within you, express that greatness. The manifestation of the new moon in Capricorn for you and your personal chart is going to depend on what house it's going to be in. So let's give a quick debrief and read on each of the zodiac signs and how they're going to be impacted. Speaking of the new moon in Capricorn, it's going to be you know, my 10th house, which is the house of legacy. And if there's one thing that I'm doing is getting this astrology business right. I'm making this my full-time gig this year. So with that being said, I have new readings on my website, sales, an ebook coming, which will be in the description as soon as it drops. The ebooks on the astrology of 2023. I have a personal power guide for your 2023. I have brought back the everything you need to know astrology reading. And I now offer 24-hour tarot and oracle cards. And if you thought that was it, I have just dropped my EP titled Prometheus, which is a sweltering and tantalizing production of all the feels and space, basically. If you want notifications on these things, sign up below on my website, chadthemaverick.com. I'll be sending out a text whenever any discount drops, any class is going to happen, and much, much more. But let's get into the rest. What are you trying to manifest for your 2023? Drop it down below in the comments, check back in a year, and see if you made it happen. But without further ado, the new moon in Capricorn for every zodiac sign, sun, moon, and rising. Capricorn, this shift is happening in your first house. What this new moon wants you to know is that you can never secure the bag if you are the bag. Capricorn, your value is in who you are, not in what you put out to other people. Although legacy is always on your mind, most likely, so is money. It's not the money that makes you, it's you who makes the money. I think this Capricorn new moon is trying to remind you of the magic that you actually possess. The secret to Capricorn energy is that it's represented by the sea goat, which means one part is on the land and the other part is in the sea, which represents Capricorn's connection to the divine. Think of what you can accomplish when you accept your divinity and your role in making structure happen. The card I have for you is the Four of Wands, Capricorn. Ceremony, celebration, lust for life. This Capricorn season does seem like it's going to start off on a super great note for you. You've gone through the main trials and tribulations, so what's next? Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising. For the new moon in Capricorn, this is happening in your second house. Sagittarius, you're full of visions and imaginations, but sometimes that overthought and optimism can lead to lack of action. In Sag, although you are master manifestors, sometimes you forget about the tangible things as well. I think this new moon is trying to change your relationship to how you make money. And if you can collect your bag off of being yourself, you've literally won. On my Sag placements, content creation, Creation is low key the way that we have to go. We have a knack for media and we really need to step into it. Show them who you are. The card we have for you, Sag, while the new moon is in Capricorn, is the Eight of Pentacles. This is showing you that you have to build up that business from the ground. But I tell you what, you're gonna see results so quickly at the beginning of this 2023, but it's something you have to work on every single day. So whatever you is you are passionate about, put in that daily drive, it's gonna pay off so much faster than you think it will. For Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising on this new moon in Capricorn. Scorpio, this is happening in your third house. It's actually time to take yourself a little bit more seriously. I think sometimes you can get so caught up in the feelings and the emotions of things that you start to take a approach like, oh, it's not that serious. I'll let you know, genuinely speaking, it is that serious. And if you have something to say or something to speak on, do so. It's okay to be passionate about the things you talk about. It could be off-putting for some, but for other people, they need that real genuine conversation that only you can bring. This is about speaking out on your heart, Scorpio, and being willing to make the transformation in the process. Scorpio, we have the strength card for you. This is showing real development of the heart and your ability to communicate what's on your mind. Don't be afraid to show your intensity. Sometimes someone got to bring the real in this world of bullshit. So why not you? Libra, sun, moon, and rising. This shift is 
is happening in your fourth house space? What can you do to secure the home, to secure your sense of family, and to bring further stability in your personal life? This new moon in Capricorn, things turn more personable for you as you develop new stages in your career, and everyone's actually starting to notice your worth in that regard. The key to this new moon, however, is actually gaining some rest and relaxation. It's kind of about putting your feet up and letting people's perception of you grow fonder strictly off of who you are as a person. The card I have for you, Libra, the card I have for Libra is the Wheel of Fortune. If you've been stuck in a rut before, this is actually showing that there's luck coming your way and a lot of money to be made. The reason why people are going to be drawn to you is just your sincere emotion and the way that you go about your conversation. So don't overthink it. Show up. Be yourself. People going to pay you for it trust. For Virgo, sun, moon, and rising on this new moon in Capricorn. Virgo, this is happening in your fifth house. This is the house of creativity, expression, showing up on stage and taking the show. Virgo, I think you've been too quiet about your accomplishments to the point where you're not even giving yourself the credit for it. And if there's anything that Virgo needs in their life, it's credit. Whether it be them credit cards or kudos for just doing really well. Either or, it's okay to flaunt a little bit. I think you've been quietly working all 2022 in a way where most people have been goofing off. And it's kind of time for you to just like have a smile. Go get a drink with somebody you like. Take a day off. <gasps> No, but really, like, I do think this is going to be a really good time for you to start to work on your self-expression and the genuine nature you have because of it. Virgo, for you, we have the Two of Pentacles, and I think this is you having to actually balance out your work life and your personal life. The Two of Pentacles is a teeter-totter between the two trying to find a balance between the infinite. I wouldn't worry too much about this for you though, Virgo, but it's okay if your emotions sway. It's okay if your feelings can change a bit. Allow yourself the fluctuation of your mutable energy and it's gonna guide you to your success with this upcoming new moon. Leo, sun, moon, and rising. This is gonna be happening with you on a new moon in Capricorn. We have the new moon going into your sixth house. There's a new focus on health and how you're gonna be going about your day to day. I actually see this Leo as you specifically working on things to increase your health, to improve your appearance or how you feel about your appearance. And I think the presentation that you want to exude is going to start up after this new moon in Capricorn. Leo, you have a lot of heart, but sometimes you rely on your outwardly attractiveness to validate your worth. And although people may love you for it, it's not always the best thing for you to do. People like you in your appearance due to the things that you do on a day-to-day -day basis, not what you do when you get all dolled up contrary to popular belief. The card I have for the card I have for Leo is the 8 of swords. You've been blinding yourself to the truth of how well you've been doing because you don't have that specific appearance that you may have figured that you would have for it. It's not all about the aesthetic Leo. This may be hard to hear, but people like you for you and not just for your hair. Yeah, I said it. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. On this new moon in Capricorn, it's affecting your seventh house. Truth be told, this is a perfect time for Cancer placements to actually manifest a partner or bridge in the deeper relationship with the person that they are already with. Where Cancer is very emotional, Capricorn is typically seen as stoic, more reserved, and industrial, and Cancer energy honestly is super attracted to this. But it's not just your relationship, it's not just your personal relationships, it's also you bridging in new business ideas, new people in your life who are meant to help you with your money, with your gain. Now Cancer, on this new moon in Capricorn, with that relationship that you're garnering is actually going to take more time than you would probably like, but that's because of the sincerity of what's happening with this process. Any of the heartbreak that you may have faced prior to this is going to start to dissipate as you run into this person who's meant to help you cultivate a stronger idea and sense of self. Stop crying over your ex. Go do something respectfully. For Gemini, sun, moon, and rising, this new moon in Capricorn is happening in your eighth house. I can the eighth house to the house of magic. And Gemini, I don't think you realize how strong your words actually are. People listen to you, and whether they hear it consciously, they'll at least honestly tell take it into their subconscious. As Gemini has two twins, the conscious regular one and then a higher self rendition of that. So think your higher 
Gemini self is going to be integrating with your earthly self and giving you the power of what's known as the word. The things you channel from inside your heart are going to be able to move mountains after this new moon in Capricorn. But beware of any beware of any secrets that may arise as some of those things you might want to just keep to yourself. If you learn the tea about something, keep it to you for a second. And you keeping it to yourself will probably pull off by the full moon. The card I have for Gemini is a five of pentacles, but underneath it, I accidentally pulled the Eight of Pentacles as well. This is showing a rags to riches kind of feeling. If you've been feeling in the dumps, this is actually you manifesting the work that you want to put in by just speaking it into existence. So just like the other sign on your axis, Sagittarius, it's time to pick up what you really want to do day in and day out. And it's going to start paying off in the next two weeks. Super fast, magic. Taurus, sun, moon, and rising. This new moon in Capricorn is happening in your ninth house. Taurus, you're very down to earth, but this is going to be a time where you actually see the grand vision and sometimes it's very off-putting for you because you're like whoa this reminds me of like a mr beast video as a matter of fact i suggest you all go watch a mr beast video where the man will set up people with thousands to millions of dollars to do simple and mundane tasks and i suggest you watch this because there is a certain type of simplicity that goes into his work and it gets down to the core human level of like everybody wants to have a good time Everybody wants to see something cool, and everybody wants a little money in their pocket. This new moon is bringing you the kind of capability to start to administer situations like this, whether it be financial or just through ideas and exchange. Taurus, the card I have for you is the Eight of Swords, which is telling you to take your blinders off. In order for you to see the grander abundance that is at play here, you need to take away the idea that everything is supposed to just be material and right in front of you. This new moon of Capricorn is trying to re-administer your belief in the unknown and what you can't just see in front of you. And that acceptance becomes your power moving forward. For Aries, sun, moon, and rising, this new moon in Capricorn is starting in your 10th house. Now, Jupiter has just gone into Aries. So this square is impacting you in a different way. If you don't get the Start working on your dreams, I swear to God. There is a legacy that you have, Aries, that's built off the brand of your own personality. And if you don't choose to do what you love, it's going to smack you in the face. So would you rather go smack life in the face and be like, hey, run me my money? Or would you rather have, would you want it to be the other way around, where life's like, where's my money? <laughs> There's like one of two options here. So choose you and the money's gonna start to roll through. I know I am and everyone's gonna pay me for quality work. And the idea of the quality work is the internal self showing up consistently. And that's what people are going to gravitate to you for with this new moon and cap. For Aries, we have the Ace of Wands. The fire of whatever you are passionate about is going to make you feel like you can literally do anything. This is thousands rolling in at once. This is money you've never seen before. This is ideas you've never thought being able to happen come to life. And as you ride about in your newfound conquest, don't forget about the people who have helped you gain that status. This is a great time to go back and thank those who are actually in your support and have been in your corner since day one. Regardless, Aries, you definitely got it coming up this time frame. Pisces, sun, moon, and rising on this new moon in Capricorn. Pisces, this shift is going to be happening in your 11th house, which stems for your greater communication and also a lot of times your social media presence. If there's something that you have to say that's been prolific, that's been on your mind for the last bit, Literally just make a post on it and see how other people react to it. This is like, hey, I've been thinking about making a garden for so long and I want to start a gardening community. And then random people pulling up like, hey, let's start a gardening community. We have 10 members and we're all going to make a group chat. Let's do it. And meanwhile, you're like, yo, I always wanted to do this. This was like my biggest dream for the longest time. Pisces, you got it like that. Just make it happen. Bridge in all your homies and do the damn thing. Speaking of that... We have the Three of Pentacles, which literally shows an initiation of you bringing people in to help you with your further dream. Usage of the internet and grander communications and communities is what's going to actually bring this together. You are not going to do it alone, Pisces. You literally are bringing in your soulmates in order for you to make this happen. And it's as deep and as simple as that. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. So get it popping. Leave fear in the past. And for Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising on this new moon in Capricorn, this is happening in your 12th house. There's a lot of undoing that needs to happen from your mindset, Aquarius. 
as Saturn has been making you feel limited in your sign for such a long time, truthfully. And this is you starting to gain footing again as soon as you let go of that ego a little bit behind the things that you're good at. It's not about you being the best at it. It's about how other people can feel your relationship to being the best at it. Are you a cocky son of a bitch? Or are you someone who ends up speaking to everyone and interacting with everyone? This is showing you that you need to let go of that separation of self and develop a new relationship with the community around you in order for you to reach that grand success that you know is on the rise. The card I have for you, Aquarius, is the Two of Cups, showing you that you're not doing this alone. There's going to be someone coming in, a divine partner of some sort, as soon as you're willing to let go of that stress that you've been putting on yourself, this divine partner coming in is going to literally catapult you forward into love, into justice for yourself, and into a different aspect of your relationship to your talent. Let the universe do its thing in this process as it's actually going to be bringing you very strong potential romantic situations as well as business situations off this new moon in Capricorn. If you've gotten anything from this video for this new moon in Cap, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe. YouTube actually takes into mind everything, information that people post. So I really want to start putting the content out there to get the conversation rolling. Based off the carpool and what I've said about this new moon in Capricorn for you and your energy, what are you going to do with it? How are you going to use that theme to manifest towards your life? Drop that down below in the comments and be sure to start the conversation on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter, all that good shit. One last card for the collective before we depart. And we have the Ace of Pentacles and behind it, the moon. This new moon, this is literally the new moon in Capricorn. We are about to make all types of progress based off of this new moon occurring and happening, changing the stakes of the game towards this 2023. Are you scared to dive into your forever, your permanence? Are you going to make life your bitch? Now, played. are you going to co-create with life to make beautiful things occur? Readings, ebook, music, readings, all on the website. <laughs> So be sure to pull up chadthemaverick.com, chadthemaverick across the board, social media. Much love as always. Till next time.